It's no secret that Tesla has been at the top of the game when it comes to battery capacity and efficiency. However, their all-new competitor turned their long-awaited Cybercell into minced meat. This new battery type is more efficient, has a larger capacity, and is unparalleled in terms of practical usability. To see what Tesla is up against, what is this new battery type, and what makes it so incredible? Join us and let's check out the insane new battery technology that just crushed Tesla. Who is this new Tesla competitor? The new company that put Tesla to shame is QuantumScape. QuantumScape is a Silicon Valley-based company that specializes in developing and making batteries for electric vehicles. QuantumScape has been in the business since 2010, founded by Jack Deep Singh, Tim Holm, and Fritz Prinz. QuantumScape was just a mere startup back then. However, in 2012, one of the largest automotive makers in the world, Volkswagen, took an interest in it. They proposed a partnership with QuantumScape and have been funding them ever since. Volkswagen wasn't the only major founder of QuantumScape, as even Bill Gates himself saw the potential that the company harnessed and decided to invest in it. However, QuantumScape came into public attention back in 2020 when they announced that they were working on a revolutionary new battery type that would put regular lithium-ion batteries to shame. This new battery type has been adorned by many and QuantumScape received even greater funding from countless other companies. So with such a fuss all around the world, one must ask themselves, what is this new battery type? The battery type in question is QuantumScape's all-new solid-state batteries. You see, solid-state batteries have for a couple of years now been thought of as the future of EV batteries. This is because they're logistically very similar to producing regular lithium-ion batteries. This is because they too are lithium-based batteries. However, unlike regular batteries, solid-state batteries utilize solid electrolytes, whereas regular lithium-ion batteries use liquid or polymer gel electrolytes. You see, solid-state batteries incorporate polymer or ceramic electrolytes, removing all liquid from them. A shift from liquid electrolytes might seem like a superfluous change. However, it allows for an enormous increase in the utilitarian value of the batteries themselves. First, due to a much higher energy density, solid-state batteries have a way bigger capacity, which means that they'd allow for a much greater range while also being way lighter and more compact. This will allow the car to be much more drivable due to a lower curb weight while also being more efficient due to it not being overburdened by excessive weight. Essentially, this means that we'll finally be getting range-efficient vehicles that aren't unnecessarily overpowered, meaning that there will also be a considerably lower price tag for EVs in the future. What's even more interesting is the fact that despite being lighter, solid-state batteries allow for an even higher power output than regular lithium-ion batteries, meaning that we'll be able to exploit power even more and be able to create even faster electric vehicles. The cherry on the top is the fact that solid-state batteries have a higher voltage tolerance, meaning that charging times will be much faster than regular lithium-ion batteries, which is once again one of the main drawbacks of electric vehicles over internal combustion engine cars. But the biggest reason why they're so much better than lithium-ion batteries is that they're also much more stable than them. The biggest concern that surrounds regular batteries is how easily combustible they are. You see, regular lithium-ion battery cells combine a flammable electrolyte with a significant amount of stored energy. Once the battery cell starts creating more heat than it can effectively disperse, the battery becomes very susceptible to spontaneous combustion. This process of producing excessive heat is known as thermal runaway and it can be caused by short-circuiting, mechanical damage, and even overcharging or over-discharging. On the flip side, solid-state batteries are considerably more stable due to their not being able to eject a range of flammable or toxic gases since they're completely solid and lack any kind of easily flammable liquid that can rapidly vaporize. What's incredibly interesting about solid-state batteries is that they existed as a concept for almost two whole centuries. Michael Faraday was the first person to discover solid electrolytes back in the early 1830s, which was the basis of all future development of solid-state ionics. However, solid-state batteries have been known for their short lifespan due to the rapid depletion of their solid electrolytes. However, even with this massive flaw, they were still potent enough to remain viable as an idea for the future. Furthermore, QuantumScape has also done wonders to lower the production costs for its new battery. Solid-state batteries have always harnessed the potential of being more affordable to produce than regular lithium-ion batteries. They just couldn't come close to lithium-ion batteries because they lost their potency quite rapidly due to a relatively high strain on them, 
Well, you can kiss that short lifespan goodbye. Why? Because QuantumScape extended its battery's lifetime massively by eliminating capacity loss at the anode interface. As a result, QuantumScape has announced that its batteries will be able to reach over 500,000 miles without any significant capacity drops or range loss. This makes the batteries even less susceptible to damage and spontaneous combustion, which should be a major plus in everyone's books. So, with all of this in mind, it's safe to say that things aren't exactly looking great for Tesla. QuantumScape has got them pinned down, and with them pioneering solid-state batteries, it's only a matter of time before another manufacturer comes out and starts making their solid-state batteries, which would lead to the CyberCell's early retirement. This is why we must ask ourselves, will Tesla manage to catch up to QuantumScape? Well, first things first, Tesla is a humongous company, unlike QuantumScape, which is technically a startup and specializes in R and D of batteries. Tesla has enormous production capacities apart from just research and development. Once more, Tesla is also a well-proven company, and their products have been exceptionally popular and revolutionary, whereas QuantumScape is yet to be proven. Not to mention that Tesla can and most likely will buy out any startup competition that might bring them closer to creating the perfect battery type for their EVs. They've already partnered with numerous different companies, and there's no reason for them not to do such a thing with QuantumScape if the company proves to be as ambitious as they keep telling us they are. And that's exactly what brings us to the next problem. You see, QuantumScape's work is yet to be proved or even revealed to the public for that matter. This lack of any visible results is why QuantumScape has been accused of fraud in the past. Back in 2020, QuantumScape managed to acquire a massive amount of money through various investors. The total amount surpasses $1 billion, which is enormous for a de facto startup, especially since they had virtually no results to back up their claims and projections. As a result, hedge fund Scorpion Capital went out and straight up accused QuantumScape of fraudulent behavior, deeming them a pump and dump scheme. Furthermore, despite their alleged attempts to create solid state batteries, the company's major goals remain unfulfilled. They're yet to release any kind of viable product, and as long as QuantumScape doesn't reveal the fruits of their labor, their legitimacy will constantly be questioned. However, this might just change quite soon. This is because QuantumScape has announced that they're ready to put the batteries into mass production. According to their recent reports, the factory that will be making these batteries is already under construction and should be completed by 2025. If this is true, we'll finally see whether QuantumScape was right and whether all their batteries were nothing more than a fever dream. Furthermore, another thing that we must also understand is that QuantumScape's success doesn't necessarily mean Tesla's failure. It's highly unlikely that QuantumScape will be the only company to produce solid-state batteries for the foreseeable future. You see, even if QuantumScape does prove to be everything they say they are, other companies will start making solid-state batteries as well, and they could potentially create even better variations of them. This will inevitably lead to Tesla creating its variation of solid-state batteries. However, we still have to see whether QuantumScape's results will be what the world was hoping for. If QuantumScape doesn't reveal what they've been working on, we might see the death of the most promising battery company of the 21st century. If not, we might finally see the event of the perfect battery type. Will QuantumScape become the world's most prominent manufacturer of solid-state batteries? Will Tesla catch up to them? Well, we'll just have to wait and see.